Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now the first thing I'm doing is filling in the numbers that we learned yesterday and need to bring forward to solve this Sudoku. So that's kind of one of the ways that these linked, well it is the way that these linked Sudokus work. We solve this puzzle, any numbers we get in circled cells, we carry into the same positions in tomorrow's puzzle. And yesterday we solved the second of the four linked Sudokus by Ashish Kumar and we got these three digits to put in today's puzzle. Now you won't be surprised at this point to learn that today's puzzle is another even Sudoku which means that normal Sudoku rules apply it must be a one to nine in every row column and three by three box and also that any grey cell in the puzzle must be an even digit. So two, four, six or eight in all of the 10 marked gray cells, um, which is a useful constraint in many ways and actually not that hard to play along with. Now remember, we can ignore for the purposes of this solve, the circled cells, they're only there so that we can carry four digits into tomorrow's puzzle. And when I've solved tomorrow's puzzle, assuming all goes well, um, I will then reveal why I'm not providing you with these digits before we start. Um, it's an interesting set of link puzzles, I'll say that, but as I say, today, um, obviously below the video, you've got the link to play this puzzle before you watch me solve it. I'm also going to provide the links to the first two puzzles in this or to the videos for the first two puzzles in the sequence um, and tomorrow obviously you'll get the fourth puzzle in the sequence as well so um, with all of that said and thanks again to Ashish Kumar I'm also providing the link to his Patreon site because uh, he's a great puzzle setter we're very grateful for this set of puzzles which I think he first released a couple of years ago and looking forward to solving it. So here we go, let's get cracking. Um, now we've got some nice nines in the middle for two reasons. That one can't be a nine as well. There's a nine there and it's an even cell so we can fill in a nine. Um, ah, yeah, previously we've used the fact that there are sometimes boxes with quite a few even digits in and here we've got three even cells in a box which already has a 2 in. So we know they're 6, 4 and 8 and we know from the position of this 6 that these two aren't 6, that's 6. The other two are a 4, 8 pair. That 3 now, given that we've got 3, 1 and 7 left to place in these three cells that 3 is very helpful so we can put a 3 in there. I don't think we can decide between 1 and 7 for the remaining two places yet. Uh, now over here in the symmetrical box, again three even digits, but no fourth one provided, so that's not so obvious. Um, that six is useful though, because of the sixes here, which have ruled out all of those cells, and that six rules out that one as well, so clearly six has to go in there. This one, ah look, yeah, we've got two and six in the row, that has to be 4 or 8 to be even, and that now forms a pair with the other even cell. So here and here, we've got to place 3 and 7, and that 3 is very helpful. It means we can put 7 in the central box, and 3 in the end there. Now this even cell, I haven't got anything particularly, so I know it's not a 6, but I don't know about the other possibilities. Um, that may, oh no, look, eights in the middle here, so I can put eight here. Oh, that's great. That resolves four, the four eight pair. Now I can nip across to that four, take four out of that cell. I've got one seven and five to put in those three, and the seven's very helpful. Seven there. So that's a 1-5 pair. The last digit in the central box must be a 4. Must be. This is a 2-5-8 triple. And obviously the 5 must be in one of those two cells. 
Um, I've got two more grey cells in column nine. Ah, these ones in column one are more helpful. Look, we've got two and four in the same column already. So these two have to be six and eight. And six there means this even cell is the eight. This one is the six. Um, that doesn't feed on straight away. That could be two or four. This one could be two, four or eight. Oh, that's nice. This is a naked single now. Four, three, six, nine, eight, two in the column. Five, seven in the row. That's a one. That resolves that pair. Puts a five at the top. Um, now we've got all these possibilities filled in the grey cells. We can effectively solve this as a regular classic now. Um, ah, look, five here is ruling out those cells. That five's ruling out that one. Five in this box must be in the circle. Two in this same column. Where can two go? Well, it can't go here because of that two or here because of that two. So it's here. And in this box, oh, look, sevens looking at all of these cells. So obviously seven in the corner box has to be there. Uh, that's great for this box. So just keep working together. Every time you find a digit, look, a, look the, in another direction from that digit to see what can break loose. So this is a one, three, eight, triple. The top one can't be eight. That one can't be one. This is a four, nine pair. And this is the remaining three. Um, so then we look across as suggested. Mm, not obvious. Oh, five, yes, five and five. That must be five. Um, and at the top, that's very useful. That rules out those three cells. The five in the first cell over here rules out the other two. So five again in the circle cell. Get rid of five there, put five in there. And make it down the middle. Yes, look at these twos. They're very useful. They're ruling out all of those cells. And this two's taking out the last cell in that box that could have been a two. That gives us a two there. That looks straight into the even side of things. We can put four in there. That four has resolved the nine four pair. And this one is coming together now. I think. We've got most of it effectively done. One three was resolved there by that three. Six, four, nine to go in here. Four there. Ah, six, nine pair to make up the box. Um, what about this six, nine or three? Mm, not sure. Two and eight, no, no, not so useful. Let's look up. Okay, this is nice. This is a naked single now. Seven, eight, three, two, one, five in the column, six, nine in the row. We can put a four in there. Uh, what else? Oh, look, sevens. Uh, those two sevens have ruled out all of those cells, so seven must go in here. It obviously can't go in the even cell. Um, sixes. This has been available from the beginning because they're given sixes. And up here, those were the numbers we brought forward from the previous Sudoku. So this puzzle is not going to be too bad. Fives in one of those and uniqueness well, no, that one tells us that one is in one of those two. That one tells us it's there. So I can put one there now. This is a 493 triple. And look, these cells are very useful in telling us exactly which is which. That must be eight because there's a two in the row already. The eight has resolved this three eight pair. That's good. There's a nine in there. Five and three, five and one. 
six and nine, and now we're finished. Really nothing too tricky in this one. I mean, you know, I'm sorry if you're looking for something that's definitely harder than that, but, you know, sometimes the puzzle doesn't work out that that difficult. That's, that's pretty straightforward, I think. Um, it's possible that I just found a, a lucky route through, but I'm guessing that the comments will tend to agree that that was straightforward. That'll give quite a lot of commenters a chance to beat the video time, which I know is sometimes a goal. Um, I hope that was at least some way enjoyable for you anyway. I mean, it's a nice puzzle anyway, nice symmetrical setup and some good deductions early on with the even numbers. But uh, certainly it was helpful to have as many numbers as we had in and givens and the three, the, the three at the top and three at the bottom that we brought in. Thanks very much for watching. We're going to, as I say, get to the end of these four linked puzzles tomorrow and um, explain something else about them and that I hope will be interesting to you. But for now, thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Do please stay safe during these tricky times and uh, see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.